Yeah. Yo. Yo. Listen. But I'd tell everybody to get into Key for Life because they are really helping. When I come out of jail, if we went to get a job, they wouldn't take us because they think of us as criminals. And obviously, yeah, we're a criminal, but not everybody is what everyone thinks they are. I got introduced to Key for Life with Eva and everyone else. And they helped me introduce the people, introduced me to Sarah here, and ended up coming here, looking at the place, got on with my life, and now working as a chef. James is good, he's given me a chance. Well, he got me this place, this job, and um, he's got me on a farm as well. So, yeah, he's done a lot for me, he's done a lot. Well, basically, I got involved with the charity, first of all, because it helps people like myself coming from prisons. Us young men are finally be given a chance to, to turn things around. And you get help with getting jobs, school, college. I just recently got a placement in work myself, so I just got into work, which I'm enjoying very much. They help me, innit? I don't know, they just, they don't, they don't, they don't forget. Like, a lot of people say they can help and then they bust out, they forget, innit? You don't forget. All of these kids here are trying to change their life. So when you've got a bunch of people, when you put them together, it's like, it's a domino effect. If one person wants to try and change his life, he's going to implement that energy to the next person. The really special thing about it, I think, is how personal it is. It's about making connections between people who really, really care and people who do need a lot of help. I was the worst, I really was. I just wasn't prepared to, to get involved, to help out. I had all my ideas that I thought it was going to be and it, was, it just wasn't like that. I think you, 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 you can go through life blinkered with tunnel vision and not wanting to sort of look outside of your own narrow view of, of a, a situation. But um, no, it's been great for me. Like Mason comes out with us all the time and I just think that is the key thing, like just being involved in a family, in family life, that, that is a difference. But I don't know if any other programmes have done that before. I would strongly encourage people and definitely to employ. I mean, he's just gone from strength to strength. You know, he was very much part of the team there. They're going to miss him. Um, and in fact, we all are. I can see it's in its infancy but I feel we've got some great, we're getting some great traction and the key is trying to break the re-offending pattern so when they come out, they don't get back into trouble again and end up back in prison. We're in the recording studio in West London. There are five of the offenders and they're all getting ready to make a record with some artists from Island Records. Key for Life offers something unique. Not only does it work with the young person whilst they're in custody, but it also follows them back out into the community. And quite often we say that that is where we lose young people. When I met them a year ago, they were right, and they sort of knew what they wanted to do to a certain extent, but it's like, they learned to love it. And I was saying like, that's what we need. They're, they're learning to love it and they've come a long way. I've just heard a chorus on it that goes around three times by the second time, you're latched onto it. We've been into the prison with Angel to see these guys a couple of times and you know now they're on the outside it's sort of like linking back up and you know putting together putting together a song and putting together the music in the real world. It costs over £50,000 to keep a young person in prison a year. The Key for Life programme is certainly a, a very powerful and evidence-based solution to how you can break the cycle of reoffending. Fifteen of them statistically will be going back to prison. If she can keep six of them out, that's a success. You can take the shortcut, run around for them twenties and them tenners, but I'm so not no. When I used to, one twenty got a set, three five got a whole queue. Please, that was O2. Money get this, get your money, come and see me in the O2. Yeah. Money get this, get your money, come and see me in the O2. I swear down it's been mad since I came out I had to get my trap up like Blade Brown I had to stop it, I took a lot of losses I started from the bottom then I started seeing profit I started getting paper in, it's the fact I'm stating it Reminiscing to a nice beat with some bass in it
Look, let me say again, reminiscing to a nice beat with some bass in it. Look into my eyes, I live the life of an old man. I need my key for life, I grabbed it with both hands. Don't buy the hand that feeds you, what they told man. But the life that we live here, it's cold fam. They told me that I'd be tripping, had to get through and flip it. Cook it up in the kitchen, I was making a killing. Stop that shit, now I'm chilling. Fix my life and I'm living.